So let me teach you the theme of this week's discussion by getting into my terminal and I will start to code. I will not explain what I'm doing and I'll try to see if you can figure out all by yourself what I'm trying to do. Look at this. I will say def and then say add and then I'll say a comma b and then close the bracket, put a colon and then I'll say print answer equals a plus b I'll say print answer and then I'll close it and what is this I mean, what will this do it didn't even show anything right what do, what do you mean by def here right I say print ans but then nothing is getting printed you don't even know what is a and b it didn't even say that you have not declared a and b what are these variables that you're using etc etc right so let me go ahead and show you print add uh, let's say I'm sorry so if I just say add 1 comma 6 it is showing 7 if I say add 10 comma 72 it is showing 82 you see what's happening here I am declaring a new word called add I'm defining add as something that will take two variables a and b it took two variables one and six and then inside this room okay I'm defining a room where some calculations take place it adds the numbers a and b assigns it to ans and then prints ans whatever that is and hence you're getting 7 here the moment you put this you're getting 82 here when you put this let's do something more let me say define subtract a comma b and I'll say ans equals a minus b and then I'll say print ans okay and then I'll say sub 10 comma 8 you get 2 but still if I say add 8 comma 9 you will get 17 so you're defining new commands I would say the, the, the word that is easy on the mind in this stage for you all is you're creating your own commands in other words you're creating your own in the language of Python what you're doing is called creating your own functions you are you are defining what should do what and they are doing as per your instruction okay stare at the monitor and then try to figure out what I have done here okay I'll go a little ahead and try to write a not so straightforward function I'll say def discount let's say cost comma D D for discount okay so and then define discount cost comma D and then what will be the discount if the cost is some hundred rupees and you have a discount of 10 percent it should be 90 rupees right so what you should answer should be equal to whatever was your cost you need to subtract the d percentage of the cost now what would that be this would simply be cost times d if it's 10 it is d by 100 okay so much you must subtract assuming you all know what is discount I even I don't know what is discount I believe this is discount if the answer turns out to be incorrect then we'll get back and then fix it okay so cost answer equals cost minus of a, a portion of the cost you remove that from here okay so let's see if we can print this I have made a small mistake here I need to close the brackets which I didn't hear that's why it is not stopping okay so now def discount cost comma d answer equals so much print answer let me see what is the discount for 100 rupees the discount were to be 8 percent oh well my my I, my knowledge of discount isn't you know uh, hasn't expired I, I believe it's right so let me write a complicated formula for 1200 what is 8% discount it gives me 1104 
probably you can check so 8 into 12 is 96 96 minus 200 1200 is 1104 yes i am right so you can now write some complicated numbers and some 17.5 percent of this discount is so much right the idea here is the comfort with which you can define something and you can keep using it right so for instance you can say add 17 and 5 and add the difference of 100 and 3 to it and add discount of some 1500 rupees at let's say 7.5 percent whatever this means okay so I, I, I it's this 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 throws up an error why is that when i say add 17 comma 5 it simply displays what is 17 plus 5 okay i expected this to be 22 plus 97 plus discount of 1500 comma 7.5 that is not happening why isn't it happening that's because add of 17 comma 5 doesn't give you a number here unless you see had you done 17 plus 5 and let's say plus 100 minus 3 okay so it would give you the answer but my functions that i have written is not doing that simply because let me go up and then see what's happening here i say define add a comma b i only print it is there any way i can return the sum of a and b of this function so that you can go ahead and use it like this right so let's see that on this side of my editor so what i'll now do is i'll define add a comma b then i'll say answer equals a plus b and then i'll say return ans please note the word return return in day-to-day -day terms means you're returning your amazon package for whatever reasons right that's the word return um, that, that, that's how you use return in English but then here in programming by return we mean this function will the moment you call this function it will assign this value to the function what do I mean by that if you can stay patient you will observe what I mean by that b equals let's say 15 I say print add a comma b and what this does is it comes to print as you can see it's showing 17 here it comes to print it calls this function add moment it sees add it goes here and sees what have you defined here okay this would never happen you see in your typical python program it would start from the top and then keep going till the bottom but here whenever you call you have defined a function add and you call the function add here moment you call it it goes here whatever is a and b 2 and 15 it puts it here computes the value answer and then gives you the answer and that is what you are printing here okay so now look at this let me remove this and then what if i say add a and b and add 10 to this and assign this to answer okay whatever this means for whatever reasons i am doing this okay and i'll print answer it is giving me 2 plus 15 plus 10 27 okay instead of return if i were to say print answer okay this will throw up an error here because add of a comma b in this place you're simply printing you are not putting a value here if you want a value to be replaced here you must say return answer Nevertheless, we'll try executing this and see what it has to uh, abuse us of. <laughs> okay, so it says type error, unsupported operand type for plus, none type and int. You know what it means. If you have understood some, um, uh, the type uh, concept that we taught you long back, you would understand this error message, but don't break your head much. We are not here to read the details of the error message. The point is, it is throwing an error and we know why. It's because we are printing something we should not be printing something we should be returning the answer okay so this may look like why are we trying to use a, a big knife to big axe 
to cut a flower this is like a small flower that we are trying to cut why why even do the circus of define add a comma b why not simply put a plus b here right remove this and put a plus b boom still you get the answer 27 why do we do this the idea is i use this as an example things will get a, get very complicated and you will observe how these functions come in very very handy mainly on your mind i repeat that functions are useful mainly for your mind because you stay very organized and you think in a very very what is called the modular form where you break your idea into modules and then solve them slowly so what we'll do is we'll delete this and try to write the discount function okay define discount uh, the amount which was the cost and then what what was that variable i used disc disc or disc d okay so d i think it was d so let me use d itself here and what was the uh, answer that i printed uh, i said answer is equal to the cost and you're going to subtract the d proportion of the cost so if it is 10 percent you take 10 percent of cost which is 10 by 100 times cost and you subtract from cost right so if this doesn't make sense then you may want to revise what you mean by discount or spend a couple of minutes time in writing down don't refer to a book or to understand what is discount you may want to figure out by a pen and paper because it's sort of very 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 straightforward so i say return answer all right so print enter the cost price c equals input and as you know this should be an integer so i'll say int of input and then i'll say enter the discount and discount will be disk there's a reason why i'm calling it disk here you'll get to know in a minute you, you, can, you can wonder why not use cost and d here right you can indeed do that but i'm for some reason using it this way all right let me simply execute it in fact it's not calling the function i just want to see that everything is going good 100 rupees discount is 10 percent it's not showing anything because i'm not showing anything here so what i'll now do is print the final discount price is what is that discount simply put your c here simply put your disc here okay and then see what comes whatever you enter thousand rupees 11 percent discount thousand minus 110 is 890 the final discount is 890 it says you must now be wondering what is cost comma d here i use some variable here and i say c here and disk here and then pass that here so please note the way this functions is the following you need not put c here you can simply put x here and y here okay but here you must also put x and y what am i saying i'll make it clear in a minute moment you say discount x comma y your computer does the following the moment it sees a new word discount it tries to go and search have you defined what the discount is right moment it goes here it says ah there is something called discount here and let's see what variables are here you have a cost you have d so it assumes x to be your cost and your y to be your d okay whatever you put here it will take in that order it's like if you if you if this if my nickname is sudhi all right it takes me as tom here but you enter as sudhi here it, it takes sudhi as tom and does operations on tom here that's it so as and always as you can see whatever number you enter here whether it's x or y or whatever the first one is called cost the second one is taken as d and you go ahead inside the function doing your manipulation and finally return whatever you want to return which is the answer here right so if it's confusing don't worry at all it takes time for you to get a hang of it we are going this entire week is going to be a lot of 
discussion on functions as we proceed things will be very 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 clear so bear with me if things are appearing very complicated you may want to watch this video a couple of times or maybe maybe um, a dozen number of times until you understand what is what are functions better even try coding try writing your own code and figure out how you can use functions now let's go ahead and write a non trivial program which will help you understand what functions are